You might find a scuba diver, a little ship, fish, belugas, all sorts of marine life, trees, the environment, mountains. An endless amount really could be in this little square. <laughs> first drawings that actually kind of led me onto the style that I'm doing at the moment. The most common question I get is, how long did that take you to draw? Um, and I think that's a good question because the answer is a really long time. <laughs> so the largest drawing I've done is 1.6 metres by 80 centimetres approximately, which is really big. Um, and that took me about 10 months to finish. I suppose all of my drawings start with a particular aim, which is to turn my animals into planets, maybe give them an ecosystem, and play around with my imagination so that uh, it's not too prescribed to begin with. So I might draw little smiley faces or, I don't know, little trees coming out of places. Um, just for fun. It keeps it playful. The anticipation of what it might end up looking like is exciting. I guess what inspires me the most is that the world is just a fantastic place. When you look at the tiny ecosystems that you might see on a forest floor of ants like scurrying about the place, picking up leaves, fending off beetles and eating them <laughs> and all sorts of horrible things. And then you kind of zoom out a bit and then you look at the whole ecosystem of the forest and that there's a river going through the forest and in the river there are dolphins and the dolphins are interacting with the other fish or whatever. The river goes out to the ocean and it's all connected. You can't separate one thing from the other. And then you think this is just one planet and then you know you've got a solar system, so whilst this planet's like kind of orbiting around our sun, that's such a vast space for me to try and understand, but that's not even, you know, a drop in the ocean. And it's just amazing. And I think that's my main source of inspiration, is existence in a way, without sounding too pretentious. 